What's up guys, Chris Flores here, Flow Fitness and Next Generation Fit Pros. I'm bringing you another Chalk Talk. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but I had something I felt I needed to get out there, and this seems to be the best way to get the message out. So I heard something the other day, listening to Les Brown, and it kind of blew my mind, and I thought it would be awesome for fitness. I think it's something in fitness, in athletic training, and therapy, and something people need to understand is <clears throat> truth has an expiration date. And many people think, well, what are you talking about? Well, truth does have an expiration date. Let me put it in perspective for, for people. When you were young, you used to believe in Santa Claus, right? Most of us believe in Santa Claus coming down the chimney. You woke up Christmas morning, and all of a sudden, these presents are there. And in your mind, as a child, the truth was that Santa Claus was real. There's no telling a child that Santa Claus is not real. So that was the truth you held on to. As you got older, as you became more aware, people... You know, you're talking to your parents and understanding what's going on. You realize your mom's buying the same gifts that you're getting underneath the tree. And then you start understanding that, oh, maybe, you know, Santa Claus isn't real. For those who still believe in Santa Claus, I apologize for saying that. Yeah, he's real in your heart, so, yeah, I guess he's real. But the truth is, the actual truth is, that's not an actual person. It's not an actual someone coming down your chimney and giving you gifts. So your truth had an expiration date. As you became more aware or increased in awareness which is when it expires, your truth will expire with increase in awareness. So as you became more aware of what's going on in your surroundings, all of a sudden your truth that you held on to for so long just expired and was no longer truth to you anymore. Then you move on to the next thing. How is that relevant in fitness today? One of the things that you're starting to understand and starting to see and starting to realize is that everything's coming fast. Everything's coming at you. It's constant. I mean, it's like information just constantly being bombarded with more and more and more and more, and more information. So the truth that you once had as far as what exercises work, what rehab tools work, uh, what surgery was best, everything. Everything injury-wise and, and training-wise and strength-wise and fitness-wise, endurance-wise, it starts to change more rapidly now. So what we're, we're seeing is that some, somebody's holding on to this one truth and, I don't know, let's say, for example, with ACL injuries. It used to be after surgery was over, it was immobilization for X amount of time. And that was everyone's truth. Every doctor held on to that truth. All right, as soon as surgery is done, we're mobilizing. Now, all of a sudden, if you see directly the same day of surgery, they have knee mobilizer, and you're moving, you know, flexion, extension in the knee. So your truth went from don't move at all to now motion is good. Hopefully, there's not people still holding on to the don't move at all theory, but there might be. You never know. So our truth is continuing to change. As we increase in awareness or education for ACL surgery, we realize that, oh, maybe you should be moving directly after that, that surgery. So why is it so important to us as athletic trainers or physical therapists or personal trainers is that we have to understand that the truth that we have is going to change. Things are going to change. As we increase our awareness, as we learn more, things are going to change, and we have to keep an open mind. One of the favorite things I like to tell my classes when I teach is that a, a mind's like a parachute. It only operates when it's open. So we have to keep that open. Something we need to start to realize, again, is our truth. We need to keep an open mind as to what's going on next, what's the next big thing, and continue education. You have to continue education. You have to constantly be learning what's new. You have to go out, read articles, read journals, and start filling your mind with stuff to help you change that truth you hold on to and help you become more aware. And that way you become a better fitness professional, a better therapist, a better doctor, or whatever, whatever career path you're choosing, you become better at that. And now you'll be able to provide better services for your clientele, for your patients, because you've increased your awareness and now you've learned more than what the old school truth used to hold on to. That's Chris Flores, Flow Fitness, Next Generation. See you guys next time for more chat. It's fine. All the ideas fine. Hang out with Roxy while I close this up.